This thing actually handles very well. <laughs> um, it, it, it stays pretty flat. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video I'm going to be going over a 2022 Toyota Sienna XSE. First and foremost though, a huge shout out link you to the Brent Brown Toyota here in Orem, Utah for giving me some time with the Sienna. This is actually their test drive vehicle. So we all know that Siennas are very hard to get a hold of, especially for test drives. So if you want to test drive one, visit Brent Brown Toyota also. Link to their inventory in the description down below. Let's get into the review. So under the hood, we have a Natchez aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder that's paired to a hybrid system and a CVT. Fuel economy is 35 around town and then 36 on the highway with power outputs being 245 horsepower combined. Now let's go over the front end of the Sienna. So first off, you guys can see we've got some pretty cool body lines there on the end of the hood. And then coming down below, we've got the reflector LEDs, and then you guys can see the LED accent light off to the side. And then notice here we've got this uh, fake venting, but you know, it looks good. And then I love the silver trim right there. Notice we've got the blue on the Toyota logo to signify that this is a hybrid. And then the whole front grille is all blacked out with the parking sensors integrated. We got the little itty bitty fog light off to the side. And yes, this is a minivan with a front splitter. And yeah, there's the front end. Now coming around the side here, we've got two 35 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the overall design for the wheel itself, you know, pretty basic, nothing too crazy. Got our hybrid badge and we got some side skirts action happening right there. Notice the mirrors are blacked out and then the rails there at the top. You got a little bit of chrome there on the door handles. And then we take a few steps back, you can see the full side profile. So here's our key fob, we have our unlock lock we've got the opening here for the doors and then for the hatch Let's hold that down and it'll pop it open notice we've got blue on the Toyota logo there again to signify this is a hybrid which is pretty cool but popping under the rear notice that the floor goes pretty low down so you've got good storage space right there and notice how we've got these charts charts here on the uh, seats so it shows you exactly how to do and everything's nicely labeled as well so uh super user friendly and then you guys can see here with the little outlet and other than that, that is pretty much everything for the rear. So we just gotta press this and press it twice and it'll lock it. And then also notice with that little chart, we've got the foot thing. So you can open up the rear hatch by putting your foot underneath. Now let's go over the rest of the rear. So you guys can see here at the top with the little spoiler. And then we've got the blacked out accenting here on the taillights itself. Got the blacked out Sienna badge. You notice again, blue on the Toyota logo and then XSC hybrid down below. And then you guys can see the blacked out trim here that has the parking sensors integrated into it. And well, that's all for the rear. Okay, so let's pop here into the Sienna. So I love the seats here. So you guys can see with the orange stitching and then kind of like the pattern they do here in the center. And then you guys can see uh, down below, uh, pretty basic, but the center part's pretty cool. And then again, more of that orange stitching, but actually popping in you guys can see le leg room yes i know my hair is all over the place it's windy you guys can see here we've got some charging ports and then down below we've got a full outlet some cup holders and then here's what the door panel looks like it does have a sunshade on it as you guys can see and then as for the uh, third row let's actually pop back there Doo -doo -doo. ah it's tight <laughs> so uh wow this is spacious uh, yeah, I fit back here actually very well. Got some USBs, got some cup holders. Uh, you know, pretty plasticky place, but I mean, it's spacious. This is like full size SUV space territory. Just saying. Let's head to the front. Now, here's the door panel at the front. Uh, you guys can see there's some padding here at the top, and then down below it's a little bit softer again. We've got that contrasted stitching. I like this trim piece right here, what that looks like. All of our window controls, we've got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do have blind spot monitoring, and then tons of storage space here on the door panel. And then here is the front seat. So, you guys can see again with the stitching, and then notice here with the design there in the center, and then you guys can see kind of down below with the padding. Power adjustments are on the side of the seat. Got the pedal layout just down below. And then notice you can turn the power doors off if you want. You got the gas cap release, stability control, the outlets to turn them on or off. A little bit of storage space right there. Notice the stitching on the dash. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. There's one to look before you pop in. Beep. 
So here's the steering wheel. We've got the leather at the top and at the bottom with the stitching here in the center. Perfect leather there on the sides. You get a better grip. We've got all of our cruise control, lane departure assistance, all that fun stuff. We've got our windshield wiper stock. We've got controls for the center stack, voice command, phone controls, all that. Turn signal and light stock. Uh, pretty simple with the steering wheel and there you go. Now let's go over the center stack here with the Sienna. You guys can see you've got the charge eco and power on that side and then you've got the speedometer on the other side. And uh, here in the center, you guys can see there's a few different menus you can scroll through and also it says maintenance required. I should probably take it to the dealership. Oh, it's already, it's already here. I thought that was funny. But anyways, back to the center screen right here. There's a bunch of different screens you can go through. We got some different drive modes as well. We've got our eco, sport, and then normal. So yeah, there you go. Now here is the center infotainment system. You guys can see if I pop into reverse, you got a backup camera with trajectory lines. Uh, they don't turn with the steering wheel, but resolution on the camera is actually really solid. Now, popping it back into park, you guys can see here for the infotainment system response time on the screen is great. Now so we can go to the climate tab right there. Uh, and you know, from a climate system perspective, uh, really solid actually. It's easy uh, to use with the infotainment system function. You guys will see there's another section where you can control the climate stuff, but yeah, there's the infotainment system down below. We have the climate control stack. So if you don't want to use the infotainment system, you got this area right here, heated seats for the front passengers. And then also we have a wireless phone charger right here cup holder and then this trim again that I really like another cup holder got the shifter for the CVT you guys can see the parking brake right here or I should say eCVT my bad auto hold EV mode got a drive mode select and then you can see the storage space right there and then opening up the center console even more storage space as well some USBs and yeah pretty cool with that and then also it continues off to the side and then you got the padding there on the dash as well and then here's the uh, glove box nothing too crazy with that and then we have the sunroof. Got controls for the sunroof right there and yeah, pretty straightforward. So here's our window sticker for the Sienna. You guys can see the standard equipment. Feel free to freeze the frame if you would like to do so. Here's the optional equipment on this thing. Pretty loaded up, right? It's what the XSC package gives you. Well, the XSC Plus package, rather. Total MSRP, $45,850. And also this is uh, an all-wheel drive Sienna if you guys are wondering. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Well, let's talk about uh, visibility before you set off. So you got visibility over the hood and also we'll get a little bit of clean windshield action. Both mirrors which do have blind spot monitoring and then throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off. So setting off in the Sienna. First off, let's talk about the road noise and ride quality. So from a ride quality perspective, very smooth and comfortable. And then road noise, minimal. Um, definitely a nice insulated cabin. And so it, it's it's a nice experience uh, driving this around actually. Again, it's comfortable, it's smooth, it's quiet. Seat comfort's pretty good as well. Uh, not the most cushiony seats in the world. Cushiony, we'll pretend like that's a word. Uh, but they do a pretty good job and the bolsters are relatively wide. So if you're a bigger person, you'd fit in these seats. Uh, and steering for a minivan, it's actually got a decent level of uh, directness to it. Uh, but And yeah, it's just an easy vehicle to drive. Uh, now as for the hybrid system, when you're just kind of like going around town, it's great. Uh, it's got really good torque and you don't really have to get into the throttle all that much. You can just kind of like lightly tap on the throttle and this has, again, 245 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot, but when you get the instant torque from the hybrid part of, or sorry, from the electric part of the system. Can't talk today. Can't talk any day, any, ever. It helps out quite a bit. Now we're gonna do our uh, little full roundabout thing. Do, 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 popping in. Okay, let's see what this feels like now. Yeah, suspension's actually pretty tight. Wow. This thing actually handles very well. <laughs> Um, it, it, it stays pretty flat. Stays pretty flat. Um, we'll slow down here quite a bit. Just kind of coast. There's no one behind me, so don't worry. I'm not running anyone's commute right now. Do, 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 do. Okay. So when you go full throttle, that's where you can, I mean, just like most cars, you can really feel the power deficit with this. Uh, because, you know, some other minivans, when you use the V6, in them, you're gonna get 
around 300 horsepower roughly nowadays. And so you do feel that a little bit, but I don't think that's what people be looking for if they're buying a minivan. I think fuel economy is gonna be more expensive than all out acceleration, especially when the deficits, I mean, it's like 40-ish horsepower, right? Compared to other minivans that have the V6s again. So yeah, let's sum things up here with the Sienna. Uh, exterior wise, I think it looks great. It's a minivan with a front splitter. What more can you ask for? Uh, from an interior perspective, it's very practical. Uh, I wouldn't call this like a luxury interior per se, but I mean, the seats feel nice. It's got heated seats. It's got all of the different climate zones. Infotainment systems easy to use. It's just a very easy to use, uh, you know, fan. And then from a driving perspective, it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's smooth. Acceleration's adequate. Uh, but again, I feel like most people that are buying this are gonna buy it because of the fuel economy, not because of the acceleration. And, uh, and also like driving style. Um, I've never been in a minivan with someone where they've, well, I mean, other than like when a teenager borrows their parents' minivan. Aside from that, I've never been in a minivan with someone and they like are going full throttle all the time. Usually it's just partial throttle and this does great. When you're just like partial throttle, this thing is fantastic. Uh, it feels really good. And I, I mean, after reviewing this, like there's nothing particularly special about the Sienna. It's good at everything. Uh, but I think that the biggest uh, pull with this is, uh, again, I'm getting, and this is just me kind of taking guesses, minivan buyers probably want something that is very reliable. It's going to last for a lot of miles because a minivan is ultimately a people mover. And so I think that's why the Siennas are selling better than any other minivan is you've got Toyota's reliability behind it, right? The only other minivans that this competes against, Honda, which you can't get all-wheel drive, and then the Chrysler Pacifica, which you can get all-wheel drive, uh, but a lot of people would obviously question the reliability of the Pacifica compared to this. Uh, and so I think that's why the Sienna has the edge is it just comes down to uh, reliability. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2022 Toyota Sienna XSE. Again, a huge shout out thank you to the Brent Brown Toyota here in Orem, Utah for giving me some time with the Sienna. Check out their inventory in the description down below. I'll see you guys.